Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am so stoked because Niantic has heard our cries. We knew that the system was broken. The new Switch thing was just terrible. And a lot of people were threatening to quit PvP. Like, it was terrible. All this hard work that we put into this to try to hype up PvP as much as we could. And we're like, is, is everything going to the garbage? But no, they heard our cry and they reverted back to the old PvP system. It was so funny because my mood completely flipped. I was literally just recording my video on how Niantic broke PvP and then they fixed it. I was like, this, this couldn't have been a better timing. Thank, thank goodness they didn't do this an hour later because I would have spent all that time having to talk about the, the update, then having to basically trash it to make this video. So, great timing, Niantic. <laughs> There's a lot of strategies in PvP, and uh, the main issue with that old update was the fact that it took away from the switching strategies. You weren't able to suicide switch anymore. You weren't able to bodyguard switch anymore. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, suicide switching is when you switch from the Pokemon that you want to keep alive and you switch it to a Pokemon that maybe has lower HP. So that way he takes the charge move and you go back to the original Pokemon to take him out with your Pokemon that you weren't able to get to that charge move with. Now, bodyguard switching is when you are going to be taking super effective damage on your Pokemon from their charge move and you instantly switch out of there and bring it to a Pokemon that's gonna be not very effective. So that way, you basically wasted all their energy on a Pokemon that won't do too much damage to. With the new update, that took everything out. Everybody was upset. Twitter was blowing up at the fact of how bad the new system was. People were threatening to quit, and I was getting upset about this. Like, I was, I was extremely upset. I, I didn't know what to do because we're like, did, what did, did we put all this hard work for nothing? We were trying to figure out how we can look at the positive of what happened with that new update. And to be honest with you, I just I couldn't find too much positivity, but it, it kind of just made PvP kind of boring. I did my first PvP match and it was the first time I wasn't having a good time. Niantic, for, for the first time, has actually listen to us it's absolutely crazy because i don't think niantic has ever reverted back to an old system whether it was the raid system the gym system like i don't think they've ever reverted back no matter how much twitter went went blowing up and how much issues came up to be but they did for pvp they heard our cry they heard the content creators talking about their opinion they heard you guys the viewers blowing up Twitter talking about how much they did not like the new system and I guess they actually figured it out that what we were saying actually made sense you literally took majority of the strategy and threw it all away like I'm not gonna say that that there was as much strategy sorry, I'm not gonna say that there was no more strategy in PvP and PvP was dead no I'm not gonna say that but I'm gonna say that you took a lot of the fun away from it. The fact that you were able to count fast moves to be able to switch into a different Pokemon was, was huge. It, it literally would switch, would change the way of the battle. You would be in a losing matchup and you'd end up on top. You might lose the lead and come up on top because of your switch. And that was ruined. But now they listened to us. They heard us talk and say what we had to say. It's back now and it is the way that it should have been when Niantic first did their release of their new update. So now we have Charm, we have Skull Bash, those are all in the game. Those same Pokemon are still going to be having those new updated movesets. But now we are reverted back to the old Switch system, which is the way it should have been. Niantic, now that we have your attention, us content creators, the community, all have your attention. Listen to us when we say, leave the system the way it is, keep everything the same, and just work on the connection issues and the minor bug fixes. Everything else, leave it the way it is because it is perfect. If you want, add some more movesets, make some new status effects, do whatever you gotta do, but just leave it the way it is because now everybody went from pissed off to super happy.
which means now that we are still in business, we're still making videos. Now that we know it's been reverted back, I want you guys to leave a comment down below letting me know what you guys think of the fact that everything's been reverted, that Niantic actually listened to us. They heard our voices. Make sure to like, leave the comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.